Welcome. Today we're going to do a sweet Valentine card. Very simple. I'm Viv with Art with Viv, and this is the place you want to come if you want to connect or reconnect with your creativity. So the first thing I did was took a scrap piece of paper, laid it atop of my watercolor paper, and decided how tall I wanted my heart to be. So I just made marks because I wanted some area around the heart. Then I just cut my little heart out with some you know, scissors and some scrap paper and then I centered it onto my paper. I just eyeballed it and then I'm going to trace around it with a pencil and that is going to be the center of our design. That is where you can write your message if you would like, put a picture if you'd like, whatever you want. And then the next thing I did was I just got my paint and I started painting really loose roses and I'm just going to paint them in a random pattern on the outside of the heart we want to we can bump up to the heart but don't cross over into the white space of the heart so I'm just gonna do that and paint just tiny little roses different sizes you don't have to make them all the same size all around the background area Now I'm not going to make you watch me paint every one of these roses, so just know that you should paint them all over the background. Once you get that finished, let them dry. Let the roses dry completely, and then you're going to come back with a different color. I chose purple. You can choose whatever color you like, whatever color of flowers. And this time I'm going to do sort of like a lavender stalk or, you know, a spray of purple flowers. So I'm just doing little lines and then little dots on either side. Simple as anything. You can paint yours whatever colors you like. You can do a different shaped flower. I just decided to do purple and make them sort of like spray, a spray. So then you're gonna wanna fill in some of those spaces with the purple flower. And you're gonna do the same thing like you did with the roses, randomly all over the background, but not inside of the heart. I'm gonna let you watch, I will return. Now once you get that background filled in with the purple flowers and the pink roses, you're going to let that dry completely and then you're going to mix up some light green and just start doing leaf shapes in between each flower, just starting to fill up that blank space, that empty space between flowers. And you are going to work on that, put them in random directions, you know, point them in different directions. You can do a couple of leaves, one leaf, a whole bunch of leaves, a whole branch of leaves. It's up to you. We're just working on filling in that empty space. Thank you. 
And then once you get all of your light green leaves in, you're going to mix up a darker green and come back in. And the spaces that are left, which are a lot smaller now that we've gotten so many flowers in there, you're just going to pop in some of these darker green leaves. And again, just do it randomly. You can do one leaf here, a couple of leaves there. It's up to you. Just put in random leaves in the empty spaces, however you think it looks good for you. We're just really trying to make a floral pattern background. Well, it's not even a pattern. It's just a big floral background because we're not really doing a pattern. So you want to just keep adding those in as you go around and filling up that empty space. Now, once you get all of your darker greens in there, you'll have an empty space and you can write whatever message you would like inside the heart. I have terrible handwriting, so I'm not going to write anything. I hope you enjoyed this really simple and thanks for watching.